Buka. Buka. Kichi, why have you not been picking my calls? Ever since you gave me your number, I've been trying to reach you. What have I done to you? Why will I pick your call? Constant demands that if you call somebody and the person doesn't pick, you stop calling. How do you expect me to stop calling you when you refuse to give me feedback of what I asked from you? How? Oga, I don't have an answer for you. I already told you I belong to another man. You don't have an answer for me? How many times have I told you? How about I'm pinging? I'm serious. I'm here for marriage. Okay? Hold you. I'm ready for marriage. If you don't have anything important to say, leave my house. I should leave your house. Leave my house at once. Are you asking me out of your house? That's exactly what I said. Leave my house. I was just having it at the back of your mind that I will never stop thinking about you. <laughs> that one is your own business. It's okay. Mm. Uh -uh. How are you? I'm fine. No, this one, yeah, your face is like this. Is there any problem? All is not fine. I'm just coming out from Nkechi's compound. So, how did it go? It didn't go fine. Can you believe that girl asked me to leave her compound? Like she asked me to leave, like a most Sibihapua. Sorry. So, what do you intend to do now? Thank God I've seen you. I need you to help me and talk to her. Please, tell her how much I love her. That girl means a lot to me. I love her so much. Tell her my plans towards making everything work out for both of us. I will, but you know that girl is very stubborn. I know, but she's still your friend. She listens to you. There's no way you will talk to her that she will not listen. I will. If, I, if I'm done with what, I, what I'm doing, I'll go and see her. If you're done, there's no time. Just you can even go from here and talk to her, please. Okay, I, I will do that. I'll do it. Alright. Sorry, you. Eh? Bye bye. bye, -bye. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh wow. It's me. Wait. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Please, um, I'm here to see NK. Oh, she stepped out, but she she will be back soon. Yeah, in that case, let me sit and wait for her. Thank you. You know I love you so much, and I wouldn't want to lose you to anybody. I mean, I love you too. Hmm? That's why I'm doing everything fast so that I'll come and see your parents. I want to pay your price. Okay, okay. <laughs> that would be nice if you do that. Mm -hmm. You know I have so many suitors that are coming from my hand in marriage. Oh yes, I know. That's why I'm trying to facilitate everything because I don't want to lose it to anybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, that would be nice. So, how is mom and dad? They are fine the last time I spoke with them. You know, they are enjoying money, eh? <laughs> so, how's your brother? Well, he's doing well. He's fine. He's okay. Hoping. I'll stop him. I'll see you later. All right. All right. All right. Okay. See you soon, eh? Take care of yourself. Yeah, you too. Take care, eh? Sorry for keeping you waiting. I went to see Joe. It's alright. Sit down. Let's talk. I hope there's no problem. Sit first. Okay. CJ met me and he complained to me that you sent him out of your house. See, I've told CJ countless times that I'm not interested in his relationship. Are you really saying this from your mind? Or because of that nonsense you are doing with Joe? Faith, the truth still remains that I don't love CJ. The person I love is Joe. 
Is it even this Joe you are talking about? Don't worry. I will introduce you to him one day. He even has plans of marrying me. Hmm. You have to be very careful. You have to watch closely. Men can do anything to get whatever they want. I know. That's true, but I trust you. It's not like that. It's alright. Your decision remains the best. Thank you, my dear friend, for understanding. This is the exact thing I want CJ to understand. I can't have anything to do with him. It's alright. I'll try and let him know that. I will be glad if you will do that. Thanks a lot. Wait, wait. Come now, come. I, I've been here waiting for you for a while now. Why do you keep bothering my life ever since you came into this village? It's because I love you. And I, I'm ready to take care of you. But I have a boyfriend. Which boyfriend are, are you talking about? Huh? Can he pay bills? Look, you know I'm not from this village. I'm from where I'm coming from. There is a lot to spend. A good. That's money. But, but I, I... There is no but there. Huh? I'm ready to take care of you. Come, let me show you. Eh? Let me show you. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I'm not happy about what you did. I'm, I'm sorry. But I did it because I love you. Is that why you should bring me into this uncompleted video? But what we did is not bad. I did not say it's bad, but I'm not prepared for it. Okay, it's alright. I'm sorry. Don't worry. I'll make it up to you. Eh? Please, promise me you won't tell my boyfriend. Which boyfriend are you talking about? Look, henceforth, you have to start taking away your mind from that guy. Because I'm now your new boyfriend. But we've not concluded yet now. Eh? You have to give me time. Oh. I'm out of here. Are you, are you living just like that? My dear, the doctor came and checked him. He said he's running short of blood. So what did he say we should do? My dear, he said we should look for someone to donate blood for him. And the most important part is I don't even have money to foot the bills. I think you should tell your boyfriend. I think you're right. That's what I'm supposed to do. I think I should be going immediately. Can I come with you at least? Let me help you and talk to him. And let Please. me even know that your boyfriend. Please. It's not good to leave my brother in this condition. Because yeah, just stay and take care of him for me. Let me go and come back. I won't waste time. Oh, be cool. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. You're not looking bright at all. What is the problem? My love, there is a big problem. My brother is very sick. They need someone to donate blood for him. Is that so? Uh, so, why are you here? I'm looking for you so that you can help me donate blood and save his life. <laughs> no, you're looking for the wrong person. I've never done that in my life and I don't even have any intentions of doing that, even in the future. You mean you can't donate your blood to save my brother? I cannot donate anything. Okay, please. If you can't donate the blood, please give me money so I can take him to the hospital for treatment. Pico. There you go again. You know quite too well that it has not been long I located into this village. I've not started working, so where do you expect me to get money from? I don't, I don't have money, you're a Jamaica guy. Uh -uh. Why are you treating me like this? Okay, please. 
if you don't have money to give to me, oh yeah, please donate the blood and save his life for me. Because you know, because... Look, I'm done talking about this. Do, do you know my blood group? Do you know whether I am AS or even SS? Look, I don't have any blood to do donate to anybody. Uh -uh. If you know where you took your bath, go and take your cloth there. It may be Saravija Ah, uh -uh. Please. So, how did he go? He said he hasn't done that before. And he has no intentions of doing it. <laughs> so, did he give you any money at all? Not at all. He did not. He is very wicked. What kind of woman being is he self? I wonder the kind of people you make friends. Even if he doesn't have money to give you, at least he should be able to donate blood for your brother. I'm very confused. I don't even know who else to run to. Yeah. It's okay. I'm coming. Let me go and meet someone. Yeah? I'm coming. Let me go and meet someone. There is a very big problem. Problem? Huh? How? See, NK's brother is very, very ill. Are you serious? And the doctor says he needs somebody to donate blood. The worst part of it all is that she doesn't even have any money to take him to the hospital. Hey, but the girl has a boyfriend now. Eh? Why are you coming to me? She should go and meet her so-called boyfriend to donate the blood or even bring anything they're they, they, they asking of. Why are you coming to me? The rubbish guy disappointed her. See, please, you really need to help. And it's safe life, be cool. See, Faith, I, I don't understand you. How do you want me to come in? This is a girl that rejected me. A girl that turned me down in all ramifications. Why are you coming to me? Okay, because the brother is now sick. Now you want me to come and donate blood, Abby? I cannot do that. See, CJ, even if you cannot give money, at least donate blood. Please. See, let me be honest with you. I'm, I'm going to do this because, because life is at stake. Yes. I'm not doing this for, for anybody. Wait, let me go and take milk. No, we'll buy it on our way. Come on. Die. It's life. Now our brother is sick and we're looking for CJ is uh, he's ready to help donate blood for your brother. CJ. CJ. I'm very sorry for all I've done to you. Thank you for agreeing to help my brother in this critical condition. It's okay. There's no problem. I am not only going to donate blood. I will also bring money for his treatment. Thank you so much. You are really a godsend. Thank you so much. My God will bless you. Thank you. It's okay. There's no time. Let's quickly rush him to the hospital. NK. NK. NK, stop. I want to talk to you. I've told you countless times that I'm no longer interested in you. Stop pestering my life. Look, NK. Remember the old times? Eh? Why are you treating me this way? Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything to you. I've just told you my mind. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Stop following me around. I'm confused here. Eh? What did I do to you? Or is it just because I refused to donate blood for your brother? Or is there any other thing that I did to you? So you refusing to donate blood? In saving my brother's life is not enough reason. Eh? Let me warn you. This should be the 
first and last time, you will stop me. NK. NK. My blood might not match your brother's own. NK, come.